Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing our kitchen tour. So I'm so excited to share this with you guys. This has been such a long project getting to this point and I kind of can't even believe I'm filming this video. We moved in uh, like four weeks ago now, which is also absolutely wild to me because we're not even fully moved in. Like not even close but our kitchen was the first thing that we moved in and i just wanted to make sure that it was fully functioning and ready to go because this is where we're going to spend most of our time it's really truly the heart of our home it's in the center of everything and we are just so happy with the way that our kitchen turned out so i'm really excited i'm going to share all the details with you guys i'll link everything that i can down below and if you have any questions um, leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. Truth be told, I did already just film 45 minutes of this video and then my camera fell off the tripod and deleted it all. So here I am again, redoing the whole thing, which I hate doing because I feel like it's like less authentic. Like I literally just filmed all of this, but with that said, I do want to thank Ritual Vitamins for sponsoring today's video. For those of you guys who are not familiar with Ritual Vitamins, these are my number one pick, top fave favorite vitamins. So the ones that I take daily are the Essential for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus. And then recently I started taking their Symbiotic Plus, which is a prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. So it's a three in one. And this has been incredible for my gut health. And I'll get to this in a second. But a few things that I want to just mention about Ritual Vitamins is that they use clean and key ingredients in their vitamins. So I really trust what I'm taking. And they also have the first visible supply chain of its kind. So you can actually trace back where the ingredients come from and why they're in the vitamin, which I just think is really, really important. And they're really high quality and third party tested so you can trust them every time you can trust them to be consistent and they're delivered right to your door as well so you never have to go without or worry about not having your vitamins I'm always the type of person that like I don't think to buy more until I'm literally taking the last one and I'm like also in case you're wondering they are vegan friendly they're non GMO project verified they are major allergen free I'm trying to think of other great things about them oh they don't use any artificial colors or anything either so that's really important because a lot of vitamins do include artificial colors the multivitamin is really great for brain health bone health blood building antioxidants all around just a really really great vitamin to be taking every day and then let's talk about the symbiotics i have struggled with bloat for as long as i can remember i bloat no matter really i take that back not no matter what i'm eating but i eat pretty dang clean like i really do eat clean and healthy and i eat a well-rounded diet but I still struggle with bloat. So since I started taking this, I've noticed a huge change in the way that my stomach looks and the way that it's shaped. So often, actually just for example, these jeans are a lot of the times tight on me because of my bloat. And my stomach has not been this flat in a while. So in combination with just eating healthy and clean, the symbiotic is like a game changer, life changing vitamin that really, really improves and supports your gut health. And these are slow release capsules. So it actually gets into your colon, which is where probiotics survive and grow. And a lot of probiotic vitamins just get to your stomach, believe it or not. So they're really not doing what they're intended to do. So I could go on and on about my ritual vitamins. And again, I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. They were kind enough to give me a link for 20% off for you guys for your first month. And I highly recommend trying them out. You guys will not regret it. And in case you guys are wondering, because I'm sensitive to this too, if they smell or taste bad, these are the best smelling, best tasting vitamins I've ever taken. These were actually the only ones that I could take when I was pregnant with Ellie. I was taking like their um, prenatal vitamins and I could not swallow any other vitamins other than my ritual ones because they have such a nice, refreshing, like lemony kind of minty scent and taste to them. And it's very just like refreshing and lovely. Honestly, these are the most pleasant vitamins I have ever taken and I could go on and on. But again, my 20% off link will be down below for you guys, right at the top of the description bar. Right, the reason I mentioned these is because they go in the cabinet in our kitchen. I do need to take my vitamins really quickly, so let's do that. I take two of the multivitamin and one of the symbiotic. Let's talk about my kitchen. So I'm currently standing in the mudroom looking into the kitchen and the living room. So coming in, we have a short section of cabinets in our refrigerator here. 
We have our island, which is obviously the centerpiece of the kitchen and a focal point that I just love. And then we have a long strip of most of our kitchen section here. And like I said, this truly is the center of our home. Our dining room is going to be over there. This will be our living room. We're waiting on furniture. And then when you wrap around the corner here is where you see our pantry. So I'm going to do the pantry separately and I want to talk about the rest of the kitchen. So. I wanna talk about the light fixtures and the stools just because that's what you can kind of see from this angle. These stools are from Amazon. They were super affordable. They come in multiple sizes and I just love that I can hide them under the bar. One thing that I really wanted in our new house was just a very simple, clean, look you got this beautiful like upholstered fabric which i love the texture of it's got the matte black base which i really like the way that that kind of plays off the matte black in the light fixtures and as a little tip if you have kids i just keep a towel so when the kids want to eat i spread the towel out they eat when they're done I slide it back under. Mom hack, just in case you're wondering how these are even still white after four weeks, I have no idea. I think it's the towels. So let's talk about the light fixtures in here because these are super unique and I love the shape of them. The quality of them is incredible. I found this shop on Etsy and I just fell in love. There's actually a few light fixtures throughout the house that I got from this company and I just loved how unique these were. It has so much texture. I love the milk glass look and I just felt like these were kind of the perfect size and perfect look for our kitchen. That cross between kind of old vintage but also new. Okay so now let's talk about the basics of our kitchen. Our cabinets the colors and everything like that. Our cabinets that you see here that are like a beige color are actually in the color beige by the company Shiloh. So these are Shiloh cabinets. It's a cabinet company or brand and they are beautiful. I'm so glad we went with Shiloh because they offer a lot of like upgrades, uh, but they don't charge you for them. So we got inset cabinets, which means the cabinet kind of has more of a seamless look where it actually closes and sits into the cabinet frame. Whereas other cabinet companies, if you want to upgrade to that more seamless look, you have to pay extra and Shiloh charges nothing for that. And the quality of the cabinets are really, really nice, smooth. I love the way that they feel and the way that they clean, the way they look. They're not too shiny, but they're definitely not a full on matte color. And I just think they look really beautiful, really high end and they're soft clothes as well. So you don't have any slamming going on, which with two kids is wonderful. Our kitchen knobs and handles on the cabinets are from Ikea. Very simple, basic. I just wanted to go with something clean, something timeless. And I really, really love these. For our appliances, we went with the GE Cafe line. This is a line of appliances that I have had my eye on for years now. When we even just started thinking about building a house, this was like the first thing that I knew I wanted. And actually the first thing I knew I wanted was the French door oven, which I will show you guys because it is like my pride and joy and I'm suddenly a baker. I really love all of these appliances. They've been great so far. I know we haven't been using them for that long, but they have not disappointed us one bit. So there are quite a few. I think there's like four color options for the appliance itself and then the knobs. I think come a standard color. So I know the white and the black come in this standard like brushed copper color, which I think is really, really beautiful. But when they came in, I was like, wait a minute, I thought I got gold. I guess if you want a different color than what it comes with, it's actually not an option to swap it when you're ordering. You have to pay the additional amount to get the color knob that you want, which again, they have like four or five different like hardware colors to choose from. So we got really lucky because I actually love the way that this copper color plays off of our floor, plays off of the color of our cabinets on our island and our pantry, which are like a wood tone. So I just think they go really well together. And I absolutely love the look of the mixed metals in here. So I think it was like a blessing in disguise and I'm so glad it happened the way that it did. So one of my favorite features of our kitchen is our backsplash. I just think that this is so stunning and simple, yet such a great statement piece that I feel like we're really not gonna get tired of and it will never look out of style. I know marble is very trendy right now, but I felt like this was a subtle way to do it and I'm just so happy with the way that it came out. So this is a quartz countertop. It's the same countertop and backsplash, same countertop on the island. It's the same throughout the entire kitchen design. 
and it's called Linnea Phoenix. I don't know where you can find it. We had the hardest time sourcing it. Long story short, we had put a large down payment um, down at a local business who carried this stone. It was, I knew as soon as I saw it, I was like, that is the stone for our kitchen. I'm not looking anymore. That is 100% what I want. And sadly enough, this business went out of business and they actually kept our money. We did not get our $2,500 back. And honestly, I was mostly sad about not being able to get these countertops. So we searched high and low, high and low, high and low. We could not find them anywhere until we were able to find the source where this business actually got their products from. So we went directly to them and they were able to actually sell them to us and install them for us. And they did an incredible job it was a place in sedgwick maine and they just did such a great job and they said that most of the stones that they carry are from china or somewhere like that um but this one specifically was from italy so he said that that's why it's really kind of hard to get your hands on and it's just not as like quickly manufactured and whatnot so long story short i am so glad we were able to get these countertops because it is truly the statement piece of our kitchen and I it just makes me so happy every single time I look at it. So we did a full quartz backsplash. It's all one piece, really easy to clean, super beautiful and simple looking, but still like has so much design in it. All right, let's move on over here to our oven. This is my baby, my pride and joy. I have wanted this oven, like I said, for years. This was really what caught my eye. I saw it on like Pinterest or something and I was like, what is that oven? I assumed it was probably $12,000 and that it was going to be a non-option for us. After years of planning and saving, we were able to get this oven and it was not $12,000, although it was also not cheap, but let me just show you. I mean, come on. It has slide out drawers. It's all touch screen on the top. You can actually connect it, I believe, to your Wi-Fi and your phone, which we have not gone to the extent of doing. I just keep it simple. I love the way it feels when you open and close the doors. And the sound. And then you have your lower oven down here, which again has the slide out drawers, which is actually incredible. Like I didn't know how uh, useful that was gonna be and it has been amazing. Love our cafe oven. And then over here we have our refrigerator. So this is just to the right of the island and the mudrooms behind me. So you kind of see this cabinet when you come in. We actually had to get another cabinet because the original design did not fit this refrigerator even though they had the specs and everything. We're not really sure what happened, but this just got installed yesterday and it finally like covers the sides of our refrigerator, which has been wonderful also this material is very very easy to clean so if there's any handprints on it or marks which honestly like it does not mark up easily either the uh, knobs never hold on to fingerprints but everything is wiped off so easily on this i've been very impressed very kid and family friendly even in the white okay i did not clean our kitchen or the refrigerator like truly i i wiped down the counter and that was it so i don't know what i'm getting myself into here but i want to show you guys the inside of this fridge i call it the nightclub because it I don't know, it feels like a nightclub when I open it. I was not expecting it. Like, I feel like music should start playing like, mm, mm. So it's all dark charcoal. It's got the rose gold, uh, like copper accents, which I think is beautiful. And then it's all lit from the back. So actually something that you can't see is there's kind of like a geometric uh, print, like on the back portion of the refrigerator and then the light shining through all the little geometric shapes and I don't know it's like our it's a little nightclub in here so there's our refrigerator all touch screen here with the drink dispenser it's got the center drawer here which you can change the um temperature and whatnot for and the freezer side out freezer on the bottom which is amazing so all of our appliances, 10 out of 10, we have loved them. Over here, I have our little coffee station, which is just coffee maker, little container of coffee, and then a little dish that I thrifted. If you're wondering about our coffee maker, it's the Drew Barrymore coffee maker, and I don't recommend it, honestly. It's very aesthetically pleasing, but it's kind of finicky, and we still don't exactly know how to use it. It's just kind of weird. So a feature of our kitchen that I really, really love and I'm so thankful that we did is this French door cabinet. I just think this is so beautiful. It kind of breaks things up, adds a lot of character and charm to the kitchen. 
and it's really fun to place pretty glasses in here and just kind of like decorate and use it for aesthetics but also for function. This is where we keep all of like our pretty glasses and we use them all the time. It's also where guests kind of help themselves to a glass. If they want to make themselves a drink, they have options here and you can see it right through the glass so they're not constantly asking like, where are your glasses? Pretty much anyone who's come over has actually just like opened this right up because you can see that the glasses are in there. So I love that and I just feel like it really adds kind of like a cozy feel to the kitchen which I really wanted this kitchen to feel cozy clean modern with like I said that antique feel and that lived in feel which I feel like the colors really give it and then little features like this really give it that lived in feel so these drawers have that really long uh, cabinet pull as well so these are amazing highly recommend really long pull out cabinets for your kitchen you can fit so much inside of these it is insane these are like the most used cabinets we have in the kitchen something i would skip on is probably the spice rack this is a little bit of a waste of space in my opinion we're not crazy crazy spice people although we have quite a bit just because this is like added up but i feel like this is a waste of space i would have rather these been in a top, like drawer like this all laid out so you could see which eventually we may be able to do with this drawer like we're really only using half the drawer. So I think that'll be our plan. But for now, I just am making use of this until I figure out what we're gonna do with it because just not my favorite. Lastly on this wall, I do wanna talk about our vent hood, which I just love so much. I think it came out really, really beautiful. We got it from Hoodsley. Hoodsley actually offered me a really hefty discount to share their brand in my videos, which I was so happy to do because we could not be happier with the way that our hood came out. Hoodsley has so many different options. So they offer wood hoods or they offer painted ones. They offer multiple shapes, sizes. It's really customizable. Um, we just got the sloped wood hood. So ours came in like a raw wood and I wasn't sure if we were gonna stain it or paint it to match the cabinets. We obviously ended up painting it to match the cabinets, which I feel like was just the best choice for our kitchen. The quality of it was great. The installation was simple and easy, no issues. And I'm just so happy because it was such a money saver. Vent hoods can be extremely expensive. Like I don't even know why they have the right to charge what they do. And Hoodsley is very, very, very affordable. We saved so much money in our kitchen by going with them and we get the custom look without the custom cost. Now for the island, the cabinets are by Craftmade and it's in maple barley. So I believe the wood is maple and then the color is barley. And I just thought this was so beautiful. I love the way that it works with our floors, which I'll also leave uh, down below what floors we got. But I wanted something that was the same tone, but a different grain of wood so that it offered a little bit of a different finish and look, but still complemented. And I feel like it goes perfectly. We have quite a bit of storage in our island, which was important for me because we really only, again, have that kind of one large strip of kitchen. So I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of space to store everything. And then something I do recommend in a kitchen is somewhere to store like your baking tins and stuff. This has been really a space saver and a great way to store your baking stuff. And then we have our beautiful sink and faucet. So I absolutely love this sink. It's by Kosher and it's just one of the best things that we got for our kitchen. I went with, I believe the largest size, which is the 36 inch. There may be one bigger, but I was really afraid when they first installed it that it was gonna be too big. But then once they got the countertop uh, laid out, it just confirmed it was the perfect size. I love the texture of the front, just how clean and simple, but also like natural that it looks. And this faucet was actually, I believe from Amazon. I'll link it for you guys, but I absolutely love it. I think it's so beautiful. It's actually really easy to clean and rarely looks dirty. I did not wipe it down for this video. And you can see there's just like a couple marks here, but other than that, it still looks really nice, shiny, clean. And I just think it's really beautiful. I love the antique look of it. And you can peep the pantry right here. So you can see that we did the same color cabinets in there, which I just think was such a great decision. Like looking at it from here, it, I think if they were this color, it just would not have nearly the same effect. Let's go ahead and head into the pantry. This is one of my favorite rooms of the house. So first off, this is gonna be a drink fridge. We just haven't gotten one yet. Um, I just keep forgetting to order one. 
So there's that. We're just using it for dog food storage and stools apparently. This is what you see in the entryway. I just wanted to create a really pretty, like aesthetically pleasing little corner here. And I just love the way that it looks. You walk in, you have all of your storage on the shelves up above, a bunch of appliances and things that we use on the daily basis, and then some more cabinets down below. So this has been one of the best things as part of our kitchen, because you can actually come in here, prep in here. It's kind of like a small butler's pantry, but it is very functional. Like there's still plenty of room. I'll come in here and pull the blender out and make a smoothie in here. That way I'm not always dirtying up the kitchen. I can really use this as part of like our functional space. These shelves were made custom by our builder. I sent him a picture of kind of what I wanted and he absolutely nailed it. I think it looks amazing. I love the thickness of them. It turned out really, really well. And then I just took any glassware, pretty bowls, pretty containers and kind of scattered them up there. I don't know if it's exactly how we'll keep it for a while, but I think it looks really pretty and I have not felt the need to change anything. On the ceiling, I picked out these really cool star lights, which I found on Amazon. They were so affordable, but I feel like they add so much character and just like a cool vibe to this room. All right guys, that is basically it for today's video and for our kitchen tour. I'm sure I forgot something. So again, just feel free to leave a question down below and I'll try to get back to you guys. And thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Again, that link will be at the top of the description in case you guys are interested in trying out their vitamins. And I love you guys all so much. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.